Before we get underway, I do want to say I have a giveaway going on right now. I'm giving away 10 free copies of NBA 2K21. If you want to join, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at I'm Dominus and hit the link in the description for the official sign up. All right, you guys, we got some pretty interesting NBA 2K21 news, and I'm going to break down the things that you probably missed. Now, everybody knows about the 2K beach, so we'll get into that in a little bit. But for starters, we need to talk about the scoreboard. Now, I know you probably didn't miss the scoreboard, but the scoreboard is just an upgrade. I mean, it's still a little square on the side, but it's an upgrade. But that shot meter, if you didn't see it, the shot meter in NBA 2K21, it's probably one of many that you can choose. But it's, uh, it's not great. It's not great, you know. Uh, we were said that it was going to look a couple different ways. But now that we see it, it looks kind of difficult to use. But I'm assuming that it's like one of many. We can switch between our shot meters similar to this last year. NBA 2K21 is going to have colleges back in the game. The reason I'm saying that is because if you stop at the right moment, you'll see the logo for UCLA and you'll see actually the UCLA jerseys, the shorts of the team. So we know that colleges are coming back and I actually knew that colleges were coming back because there was a leak that showed us the different colleges, all of the different colleges that were going to be in the game. And those colleges were University of Connecticut, Michigan State University, Syracuse University, West Virginia University, Villanova University, Gonzaga University, Texas Tech University, and that's it. Those are all of the colleges that are going to be in 2K. There could possibly be some more, but as of right now, those are all of the confirmed colleges that 2K got the right for. So the fact that that list came out probably about two months ago and UCLA is right here tells us that that list was true and that we're going to see those colleges in the game as well. Something else that you may not have noticed, my park moves can be used in the NBA. Now, I don't know to what extent, but during Trey Young's dribble move on Kendrick Nunn, you saw that Trey Young actually pulled off a my park spin move. It may be something unique to Trey Young because he's always doing the nutmeg to people, but at the end of the day, my park moves will be in the NBA. So that's something to really look into, something to think about. And I hope they are not like spammed or I hope they're not too crazy. But I do think that's kind of a unique thing to add into the game when you have players doing some pretty crazy stuff in the NBA. Being able to do that ourselves is pretty cool. So one thing that everyone knew was going to kind of happen is the fact that there is going to be some type of worldwide hoops in this game. And what I mean by that is in the first trailer, we saw a court in the Philippines. Now, that was for next gen. So in this current gen trailer, they're actually showing us that there's going to be hoops in L.A., in Chicago, in I don't know some of the other names or how to pronounce them because of the weird fonts. But we also have Berlin. We have Barcelona, Melbourne. So we know that there's going to be worldwide hoops in this game, which means that 2K is not just going to take everything that they thought of and put it to next gen. Some of that stuff is actually going to be on current gen, which is amazing honestly it's amazing because i feel that people who aren't going to buy the next gen consoles just yet should have a little fun themselves but to finish it off here there's going to be a brand new neighborhood called the 2k beach now this 2k beach i'm not surprised because venice beach was in the game before so i'm not surprised that 2k beach is now the main thing and unlike a square it now looks like a straight shot. It looks like just a straight line with all of the stores on your right and left side. We have the rec center still being called the rec center. We have a shoe store. We have just the stores all lined up going along the beach. Now this beach is probably going to resemble Venice Beach. And the reason I say that is because that little 2K beach sign right there is something, and I haven't been to other parts of the world, but what I can tell you is it's something that is unique to Venice Beach. And on top of that, 2K actually added Venice Beach in the game. So don't be surprised if Venice Beach is in 2K21 and they just call it 2K Beach. But let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. If I missed anything, feel free to drop a comment. And that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that sub button. And I will see you in my next one. Peace. Oh, no,